Hi, I'm Chris from CodeReviewVideos.com and in this video and the next video, we're going to start populating our wallpaper entity. The way in which we're going to do this is by creating ourselves a console command which sort of imitates the same or a very basic subset of the features that are available inside Doctrine Fixtures Bundle or similar sort of libraries. Now if we were to look inside our application at the moment, inside our prototype, we can see that we've got the concept of a wallpaper, but our wallpaper lives inside a category, so abstract, summer, or winter, or whatever. And if we look inside our web images directory, we can see that these images also have a very similar sort of name. It says the name of the category and then the name of the, the file as such. Now that's just because when I was downloading these images, that's the way that I created them, just so it made it easy for me to record the tutorials. But I'm well aware of the fact that if you're using your own images, the chances are that you've not followed a similar sort of structure and that's why I'm not going to bother going down the route of trying to use something like a regular expression to pull out the category name from the image as I'm aware that you just may not have done that. So if we did that then this might all just fall to pieces. So instead for the moment whilst we're working on our own console command then I'm just going to disregard the concept of a category and we'll work on that in the next video. Now thinking along those sorts of lines as well, when we come to write our own fixtures, one of the sort of the downsides to fixtures is the quite verbose, which is to say that we're going to need to specify a fixture for each of these images by typing out some data. But for our console command, I'm going to cheat a little bit and use glob, which is a built-in PHP function if you've never used it, which just allows us to target a directory or directories and pull out images or pull out files, should I say, that match a certain pattern, which in our case is just going to be star.star .star because all the images, all the files inside the images directory are images that have a file name and a certain extension. They don't all have the same extension. Some are PNG, some are JPEG, some are JPG, but that doesn't really matter. But just to be absolutely clear, the solution that we're about to implement here is really to help learn about console commands. It's not designed to be a real world alternative to fixtures. So as it stands at the moment, we've got a source directory at bundle. We don't have any commands in there. So I'm going to go ahead and generate one. Now you could copy paste from the documentation. You could type it out or use PHP Storm Live template or something along those lines. But I'm just going to generate one. So our bundle name is going to be at bundle. Just hitting tab there to auto complete that. And then it says give the name of the command that we'd like to type it into the console. So the command I'm going to give is app setup wallpapers. Now this is going to create our command file with a weird file name. But the reason I'm doing it this way is partly because it's telling me to do so, but also because generally the commands that you create for your application typically sort of live inside this app. I don't want to say namespace, but I guess that's the simplest way of thinking about it. You don't need to use that convention. It's just the one that's sort of provided for us. So do confirm generation, yes. It's gone ahead and created a command directory and inside that directory it's created this funky looking file name app setup wallpapers command. So the first thing that we need to do, jump inside app bundle under command and just rename this to just be setup wallpapers command. One nice little thing there, just in case it's not immediately obvious, the icon has actually changed there to be a little PHP file, whereas if it's all going to plan, it would know that it's a class. And the way that it knows that this is sort of in a bad situation is that the command name does not match up with the file name. So if we change this back now, you can see PHP Storm is back aware. There's just a little, little cheeky tip there. Anyway, we're going to extend, instead of extending the container aware command, I'm going to just extend command, making sure to use the appropriate use statement, which is symphony component console command. It means I can get rid of container aware command. Container aware command sort of ties us directly to the container. It makes testing a little bit trickier. That's not a huge downside, honestly. It's really just about tying us to the entire container that I don't particularly like. By extending command, we're going to have to set up this command as a Symfony service, which has the benefit or the drawback, depending on your way of looking at it, of making our dependencies explicit. So inside our service definition, we're going to have to declare whatever we want to pass in as our dependencies as constructor arguments or similar. Don't worry about this too much if you don't understand it. The downside basically is that by having our command as a service, we have to write our own service definition. Whereas if we extend container aware command, we don't. But honestly, the way that Symfony's going, the service route is probably the preferable one. So you can see it's got the right name, app, colon, set up wallpapers, which is what we specified when generating the command. I'm going to get rid of the argument and the option don't need any of them and as such can get rid of the use statements. Don't need any of this. But I'll leave in the output right line command result just to make sure that our command is known behaving. Can add in a description. We'll see this description in a sec. 
And as I say, at this point, this won't actually work unless we go ahead and create ourselves a service definition. So inside config services.yaml, I'm going to create one, which I'm just going to call app command, which sort of ties to the fact that we're in app bundle command. You can name this anything you like. You don't need to sort of use this weird prefix notation. It just helps me keep some semblance of order as our applications grow. I was going to have the class of app bundle command set up wallpapers command. And importantly, we need to tag it. And in this case, we need to tag it with the name of console.command. That should be enough at this point. If we do a PHP bin console app, we'll see what we get. Well, it's giving us that command result, which is the output right line command result there. And the reason it gives us that is because the only thing that we have under app is set up wallpapers. So from there, it's inferring that that must be what we mean. So if we just get rid of that, and dump everything out. We should see under the app section, our app setup wallpapers, and there's a little message that we used as our description.